They're off. Hawkswell now take three in that black cap into the outside is Ryder K. And it's take three to take the early lead. Ryder K is in second position. Down to the inside is Pyrite Mountain. And double barrel reserve is to the extreme outside. Captain Crow's fifth in the early going, just three lengths off the lead. Then Port Severn and Hawkswell. Three and a half more lengths to Future Strike, who has two horses beaten. Bear is best. And Kojak trails this field nine lengths off the lead. And the pace is being set by take three. Cable coddling that one along on a length and a half advantage. Pie right Mountain in a tracking position second. Ryder K is third and Port Severn's in the white cap at the hedge fourth. Double bear reserve is fifth, three lengths off the lead. Then we have Captain Crow in sixth position. Hawkswell, Kojak, Future Strike and Bear is best with just under four furlongs to go now. Take three is led every step and it's take three by two lengths. Pie right Mountain poised to take that one on with three furlongs remaining. Down to the inside, Port Severn. Ryder K's asked for more run as they come over to the top of the stretch and it's take three on the outside. Pie Wright Mountain's coming on along with Ryder K and they're inside the quarter pole. Pie Wright Mountain comes on on the outside to do battle with take three and sliding up the rail now is Port Severn and they're in deep stretch, final furlong. Port Severn has come away with the lead. Pyrite Mountain battles on bravely on the outside. It's Port Severn in front. Pyrite Mountain on the outside. Those two to settle it. Port Severn prevailed over Pyrite Mountain and take three with Hawkswell fourth. Out of Honey Harbor by Gone West, right and owned by Chiefswood Stable, Rachel Halden, the winning trainer, the winning jockey, Stephen Bann. Three Pyrite Mountain was second.